what's up you guys so i think it's time for a change let me explain <laughs> what's up you guys it's randy aka naturally fearless and welcome to another day in the vlog so with my vlog series i am going to be titling them the real randy days in my life um, the reason why I chose that title, The Real Randy, is because I have be been becoming more of myself again. After I had my daughters and then, you know, going right into my mode, married life, and special needs mom mode, I lost a lot of myself in that transition of having my kids. I suffer from a lot of postpartum anxiety and I just really lost myself you guys and during you guys probably hear Audrey huh? <laughs> and during all last year 2020 was really really tough you guys as I know it was for a lot of people during that time that we spent all of most of the year at home I had a lot of time to you know reflect and try to start working on myself again and start to become more of myself and what caused that you know that transition period was one day i was sitting down talking to dre my husband and we were just doing the normal thing that we do on friday which is order you know pizza so we were ordering a pizza and he asked me you know what do you want and i'm just like you know i don't know you know just get the regular what we always get and he looked at me and he was just like where is my wife and I'm like, what? And he's like, what happened to my wife? It was a point in time where you wouldn't eat the same thing twice. With him just asking me that question, it made me self-reflect. Because, you know, sometimes you don't, you notice, but you don't notice how much of yourself that you have lost until, you know, you have that wake-up call. And I started to you know, reflect on my postpartum anxiety that I had after I had my daughters and how much that changed me. And you know, that's the whole story for a different video, but I started doing the work on myself, um, starting to do more things that I love, started doing more of things that I love to, that I enjoy, you know, start smiling more, just started to be more intentional about finding myself again and finding understanding my purpose and just everything and you guys I have been feeling great I have been feeling amazing so here we are in the real Randy vlogs <laughs> I know a lot of you guys came here for you know my natural hair videos and stuff like that but I want you guys to know me beyond the hair I want you guys to know my personality and everything i am the most mature immature 33 year old that you would probably ever meet but you know you guys probably saw a little bit more of my personality in my last vlog that i posted with my best friend so you're gonna start to see more of randy more of the real me so i hope you guys enjoy these vlog series but today is just a regular day it is friday um February 12th and I just finished physical therapy with Adriana she's actually in here eating her lunch right now and we have one more therapy to go for the day and then one more class and she'll be done with her virtual schooling thank god it's Friday y'all because I'd be beat by Friday <laughs> But today, I think we're going to do their hosting. Her school is hosting like a drive through movie type thing. So I thought that that would be, you know, exciting to take the girls to, you know, just to get out of the house, but still actively social distance because we are still actively social distancing in this house. And so I just wanted to bring you guys along with me and then explain my journey of the real Randy vlogs, days in my life. So I'm so excited about this new vlog series you guys because i am really enjoying getting back to myself um my personality my overall being me and i can see it in my household that my household is changing because when mom is not all right the house is not all right because you can't take care of other people if you haven't taken care of yourself okay but let's go and see what the heck adriana is doing <laughs> Audrey. So, 
she clearly killed her lunch y'all she had um i made her chicken nuggets and pancakes so she was obviously very hungry hey bucky bucky <laughs> you want know, something else to eat <laughs> So I'm probably gonna, obviously, because I know that Adriana is not full. <laughs> I'm gonna grab her something else, probably some fruit or something. But you guys, Adriana has been doing so great in therapy these last couple of weeks. Um, and I think it's because she's been sleeping a lot better you guys um if i've told you guys in previous vlogs that sometimes adriana has difficulty sleeping at night we've been dealing with that for a while um where she'll go like a week or a week and a half and she won't she wouldn't like sleep at night so we've been you know tackling that and trying to see what's been going on so she has these last couple weeks she's been sleeping a lot better her stomach issues that she was having before you know, in previous vlogs, I told you guys we had to go to the hospital because she was having stomach issues. We've dealt with that with her doctors. We've come up with a plan of care, and it has been working amazing, you guys. I want to say these last two weeks, Adriana has been sleeping great, and I can see the difference when she's in therapy, school, you know, throughout the day, and mom is getting more sleep. So, thank God for that, but let me go ahead and get this girl some fruit before her next therapy starts in a hot minute. has been going on with my face lately I have been breaking out like crazy like on my cheek just this one side of my face on my cheek and like around my jaw area y'all it is driving me insane and it's making me feel like a teenager again and I know it's probably because you know stress I know I've been stressing <laughs> Well, Adriana's therapy and school schedule has been driving me crazy. She has a lot of doctor's appointments um, this month. So sometimes that, you know, gives me a lot of stress and anxiety. But look at this, y'all. All on my cheek area, causing all of this, this scarring, like what? Who would have told me that you would have to still deal with this in your thirties? Like, like, let me know what you guys are using in your skincare. I don't know if I need to. I'm trying to stay consistent with my skincare, you know, but it's driving me crazy, y'all. So I have been using the CeraVe um, Foaming Facial Cleanser. I wanna say I've been using this for probably about a month now. Um, and then I just started to use this simple micellar water and I switched my moisturizer to the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. But y'all, y'all, this is like, I cannot deal with it. I know it's probably, you know, from wearing masks all the time and just, y'all, I can't even, I can't even take it. So it's 12.07, so I need to get ready for Adriana's occupational therapy, which means I'm probably not going to, I just finished feeding her her fruit. So I probably won't be able to eat any lunch or anything until I'm finished with her therapy. So after therapy, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Mm. 
you still chewing. You still got food in your mouth. All right, y'all, so we made it to the movie. It was a little bit crazy trying to figure out where to park, but nevertheless, we are here. There's a, there's a play there. Oh, right here. I didn't want her to knock it over. She was reaching. Mm -hmm. We just got food from pizza from Papa John's. <laughs> and we bought snacks. Your first time seeing Dre today. <laughs> We're back there eating their food. Don't stuff your mouth. So we're supposed to stay inside of the car unless we're going inside to get food or use the bathroom, which is fine. <laughs> How you even turn that wheel? Actually popping in from the future because I had forgot to close out the vlog. <laughs> but the girls had a great time. Adriana actually did really, really good. I didn't know if she would or not. This is our first time ever going to a drive-in movie, but she did great. It was this little one over here, Miss Little Busybody. That was all over the place, but she also had fun too. So it was great, we had fun, it was nice to get out, you know, just to see a movie, get the kids out, whatever the case. We will go again if they do have another event like that. So I just wanted to go ahead and close out the vlog here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this short little family vlog and I'll see you guys in my next one.